protecting the site. The pasture samples taken for drying should be cut from an area of the paddock that can be protected by gates or an exclosure cage so that unexpected grazing does not occur. Select a site that is representative of the whole paddock to be measured, avoiding obvious urine patches and uneven ground. Before placing the cage for the first time, pre-trim the pasture. Cut the pasture to a height of 1-2cm to two above ground level in an area the size of the cage. The cut herbage is discarded. After the pre-trim, place the cage on the cut site and install the pegs or standards. Here we have an example of uh, our exposure cages that are currently in use where we have uh, fenced them off with a, a fencing, electric fencing system which is quite effective because the electric part keeps the uh, cattle out but with the height of the bottom wire sheep can still get in and graze right up to the cage. The cages are pinned to the ground but the cattle can still move them even with the pins whereas the sheep don't. Uh, and here we, the, with the hot wires we've got two, obviously at two different heights but then the, the extra step of the hot wire wound around the alkafene tubing on the waratah to, so the cattle don't even rub on them either and it works quite effectively. It's powered by a solar unit here which we can easily turn on and off.